Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to How Train Your Gavin. Today I'm going to be unboxing the May Fairy Loot and I do have my kittens with me, they're currently exploring but I'm hoping you will come back and help me unbox this thing. You lazy bastards. Look, I've got the new Fairy Loot, yes. Oh, say, Tobu is excited. On ye, on ye, Ash. Ash, look, it's, it's the Fairy Loot. It's the Fairy Loot, yes, it's the Fairy Loot. I know how much you love fairy loot. I am a fairy loot rep, by the way. So I was sent this box for free. Yes, I was, in exchange for an honest review. And you know what? One of the items from the last box was a sort of little basket thing. The cats have taken it over. It is theirs now. So they loved. Didn't you love the last fairy loot? Yes, you did. Oh, you're just so cute and beautiful. This is what we're going to be doing in here. And yes, as I said, I'm a Fairy Loot rep. And I will have a link to Fairy Loot down in the description box so you can check it out. Oh, you're looking at this box like, get everything out of it so I can sit inside it. Aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, baby, you are. Oh, they both look in the light. Oh, ho, 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 mama. Mama. Look, I'm not your mama, I'm your dada. So the main fairy loot, I don't actually know which one is in this one. I was so behind on my previous two fairy loot boxes that I had them in my birthday book haul. So I'm glad that I can actually do an actual unboxing for this one properly instead of just at the end of my birthday book haul. So yeah, this is the main theme. The theme is cloak and dagger. So I have no idea what's in this box and I have no idea what the book is. So that is the artwork, beautiful. What have I got? What's this? What's this? Oh, you're interested now, aren't you? You're interested now. This isn't really officially part of the fairy loot box, but the cats love it. Want to say hello to Tobu? Look, this is Tobu. Hi, Tobu, look. Look, what's this? What's this? And this is Ash. Ash says hello. Mwah. Ash says hello. Go and play with your stuff. He's like this, don't you? Just play with it, don't eat it though. Because <laughs> if you're going to start eating it, I'm going to have to take it off you. I'll have to take it off you if you're going to start eating it. So the first item, ooh, is a mug, Celestial Kingdom's mug. Is this like for Daughter of the Moon Goddess, maybe? Dishwasher microwave safe, perfect. I just found out today that my travel mug is not dishwasher friendly. Trying that at the works, uh, dishwasher, not a good idea. Look, there's a box, a box, yes. I think I will just put all of this away just in case he's trying to eat it, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just want this to not choke. I'd be a very bad dad if I did that, wouldn't I? This is the mug. It, oh, it's very pretty. It is very pretty. Pretty? Pretty. Is this Daughter of the Moon Goddess? Let me just check. I don't wanna say what else there is. Daughter of the Moon Goddess mug! I was right. I was right. Oh, that's so good. You better not be playing with those wires. Look, what have I said about wires? Are you just gonna come back over here so I can unbox it? What's this? What's this? Huh? What's this? Oh, you're interested now. This is bubble wrap. I think they're just so overwhelmed with the books. This is only like the third time they've been in here. They're just so overwhelmed. What is it? What is it? Oh, look, these are all beautiful. Where's my phone so I can take a photo? Oh, well, that's not a good place to go. Why is trying to like fit through the smallest of gaps? Why? Why? Oh, but you're so beautiful. I thought you were going to help us with this. The next thing is a Stardust Tea Strainer. I don't think I've ever had a tea strainer before. Oh, See, I might have to use this other than tea because I don't think I use tea. Well, no, I, I drink tea, but I, I drink an English breakfast tea. I don't really do fancy tea. So, unless, can I put a tea bag in this? And like put it, oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can put it on top of a mug like this, like that. And then I can put like an English breakfast tea bag in there maybe, and then pour the water in. Can you do that? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> but this is what it, I don't think you'll be able to see with my face. Oh, there we go. That is what it actually looks like with, I need to cut my nails. It's so pretty. Oh, what's it? <gasps> scrunchies, matching scrunchies. What are you doing? What are you doing on me cheetah girls? Mm-hmm. Match and scrunchies, maybe I can put one on Ash and one on Tobu. The blood and ash scrunchies really, but this is what they look like. This is how they look. These are so cute. Oh, look Tobu, look what you've taught your brother. Now Ash is on my cheetah girl's books. Well done, you jumped down. 
Yes. Do you want to wear a scrunchie each if I can get it off? Oh, see, this is why I didn't cut my nails. So I'm going to get this off. Perfect. Right. He wants to try on a scrunchie. No, I, I can't put this around their neck. It'll probably strangle them. Maybe I can put it on one of your little feet where he's gone. Toby, what's this? What's this? What's this? Excuse me, you, you might get a flash of my arse. Yes. This could be yours if you want it. You want it? No. Do you like a scrunchie? Do you like a scrunchie? Right, I'm going to leave these two here for years in case you want to play them, okay? What's this? Oh, a bottle opener! Okay, so I've got a red rising bottle opener, which is going to be very, very handy considering the amount of bloody bottles are open. Ooh, that's cool. Hang on, I'll put it on this because it, it fell off. But it is a red rising bottle opener. Ooh, isn't that so cool? So yeah, that will definitely come in handy. Oh, we actually have like two bookmarks in here, which are really nice. So here's... You all didn't say that, did you? We have this one, which is very colourful. I'm not 100% sure. It says collectible number four, and this one's collectible number three. So I must have got the first two in the previous box. I literally can't remember. Tobu, get off the plug. And then we have the two tarot cards where we have the Empress. We also have the Hierophant. And then we'll get to the book. I'm so excited to see what it is. Oh, I've wanted to get this one. And I was actually going to get it because it's in Waterstones with Orange Spirit Edges. So I was actually going to buy it, but then I decided not to. This is The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdella. Ooh, and it's got, hey, like, well, a purple spray edge. I was going to say pink. That ain't pink. But yes. Oh, Ash is going to drink out the mug. Yes. Where's my phone? Damn it, where's my phone? Do not know where my phone's gone, babies. But you're drinking out the mug. You're so clever. I love you so much. Yes, I do. So yeah, this is the book. And does it have it? Yes, honestly, I am obsessed. <gasps> oh, I much prefer it now that it has end papers, but this is what it looks like under the dust jacket. That is absolutely stunning. Wow, that takes my breath away. Neither here nor there, but long ago. Ooh, oh, that is gorgeous. In the end paper too. Oh, stun. Don't you think it's stun, Ash? <gasps> That's the end, end one as well. Very stunning. Uh, oh, you're just so cute and adorable. Yes, I should just play with all the things. Yes. Where you been? Toby, where you been? Yeah, where you been? So I was going to seriously get this. I'm glad I held off now. So this book is inspired by stories from 1001 Nights. The Stardust Thief... You went back on me, cheer girls. The Stardust Thief weaves the grip and tail of a legendary smuggler, a cowardly prince, and a dangerous quest across the desert to find a magical lamp. Luli Al-Nazari is the midnight merchant, a criminal who, with the help of her jinn bodyguard, hunts and sells illegal magic. When she saves the life of a cowardly prince, she draws the attention of his powerful father, the Sultan. <laughs> who blackmails her into finding an ancient lamp. With no choice but to obey or be executed, Luli journeys with the Sultan's oldest son to find the artifact. Aided by her bodyguard, who has secrets of his own, they must survive ghoul attacks, outwit a vengeful Jin queen, and confront a malicious killer from Luli's past. And in a world where stories, reality, and illusion is truth, Luli will discover that everything, her enemy, her magic, even her own past, is not what it seems, and she must decide who she will become in this new reality. That sounds so good. Oh, just a beautiful book yet again. An absolutely beautiful book yet again. So you do get the author card in there too, which is cool. And you do have the theme on the bookmark there. And the fairy scoop. And next one's theme is chosen ones. The weight of the world is heavy, but some are chosen to carry this burden to protect others. This box is dedicated to the characters that are chosen to defy the odds and rise up against them. You can expect items inspired from the Atlas Six, the Poppy War, the Young Elites, and the Lord of the Rings. Ooh. We are thrilled to reveal that this box will have a paperback book, which comes with an exclusive redesigned cover, digitally sprayed edges, and a digital signature. This story is an addictive high-stakes rom-com about twin princesses separated at birth. I know what it is. It's Twin Crowns. It's Twin Crowns by Catherine Webber and Catherine Doyle. I'm sorry if I spoiled that for people, but it has to be that one because that's the only thing I can think of. Oh my god. Oh, please see I get that box because I love that book. And I have the Waterstone Spread Edges. I want this one as well. Please. 
please. Ash and Toby would love that as well, wouldn't you? Look, yes, Ash, Ash says, please, please, can I have next month's box, please? Do you want to go in the box? And then the featured book of the month is a swoon-worthy romantic comedy where a young girl's gift can either save or kill. That's cool. Oh, okay, awesome. I, I thought this was a really fantastic box. Love the mug. I absolutely adore the bottle opener. This bottle opener is going to be so honey, so good. It is life-changing. But yeah, that's it. Ash, Toby, do you want to come get a photo? Oh, I forgot the scrunchies as well. Do you want a scrunchie? Do you want a scrunchie? Yeah, you like the scrunchies, don't you? That one's your favourite one, isn't it? That one's your favourite one. Go on, go for it. Go for it, gal. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to check out Fairy Loot down in the description box as well. Because I am a Fairy Loot rep. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes. Oh, I just love you. Ash is loving the box. Is this the best part of the box to you? Yes. I thought it would be. Yes, yes, oh, this is so beautiful, yes. Oh, there's my phone, I was wondering where that went. But yeah, leave a comment down below, let me know what your favourite item in the box was. And yeah, I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye everyone. See bye Ash, see bye Ash. Here comes Torbu, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah, oh, now they're fighting over the box. They're fighting over the fairy loot box. Whose box is it, eh? Huh? Whose box is it? Oh, I nearly fell, baby. I think Toby wants to get in. Toby wants to get in as well, Ash. Let him in. Let him in. There we go. There we go. Wow. Wow. Toby, are you king of the castle? Oh, don't, don't fight in the box. Gotta get out. Ah. Do you want to get in now?